Hello, this is Chris from Trained by Techs. I'm going to show you today how to do a couple things on a PicoScope software. First thing I'm going to do is uh, show you how to save an image. Um, so you could share that. And next thing I'll show you is how to uh, save certain frames of uh, your capture to make it a little easier to email and make it a little smaller. Let's get started. First thing, you're going to go over here to uh, edit. You want to uh, copy your entire window as an image. All right, so we'll go over here. I like to go to paint. All right, hit paste. And that is the entire window that you were looking at. All right, so if you want, you go over here to file, save, and just pick a name. that's saved. So say you don't want to share this entire thing and maybe you want just this image right here. So what you do is go over to edit, just do copy as image. Same thing, go over to paint. You want to hit paste and that's just what you were looking at. Do the same thing, you save it a name save and there you go all right that was simple um, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to make this a little bit smaller to email you can see here we have 32 frames of capture it's a lot of information and it won't email easily so uh, what we can do is we go to file you go to save as, click down here to save, and you can choose all your different options here. Right now, you can save all waveforms, and that is a large file, about 26 megabytes. You can save your current waveform, which is just, just this one page, which is 827 kilobytes, or you can save a custom number. So let's say, let's say we're going to say, uh, say, 15 to 17. It's about two megabytes. Let's pick a name so we don't copy over it. Hit save. Now, just to verify, let's open that file. Wait for it to open. Now you can see, instead of having 32 frames of data, we just have these three. It's, it'll make it much easier to email. All right, hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, let us know. Um, we'll talk to you later. Have a good one.